All oh, right, another video after some failed attempts. So I had some good video ideas and good things I did last week. However, I was on some dirt roads. After talking for 20 minutes, I look over and the, the camera, instead of like this, has fallen down. <laughs> And it's just videoing the floor. So that one had to get scrapped. And on top of that, I've bought a GoPro. So you could actually physically come along with me. However, I haven't got the angle right yet. Did one video, it was facing up here. Did another video and I've angled it too far down and all you could see was the dashboard. So a few fails from, uh, from old Shano. But I don't think there'll be too much interesting footage in this one, but just a story of the load, just to get a video out for those people that keep asking, why aren't you putting videos out? Um, the story of this load. So anyone that's got me on TikTok, um, shameless plug, just go and have a follow me along on there. Uh, I keep getting banned when I go live for bullying and harassment. And the latest one was nudity. Or, uh, yeah, nudity and sexual behaviour. Yet all you can see is the phone hammering the road. There was no nudity, no sexual or lewd behaviour. But I got banned for seven days. So uh, Anyway, Shane has tattoos on there. I think it's just one word. Um, if it's not one word, it's you know, just a normal way with spaces in it. But, um... Uh, where was I up to? I can't even remember what I was saying, but... Oh, I, I put videos up of this load yesterday. So anyway, the, store, the long story short, which I tend to go on tangents at times, and the long story short ends up being a long-winded story I could have said in 20 seconds but um, the story goes as I unloaded in Laverton which is in Melbourne for anyone that's not familiar I unloaded yesterday morning and I had a pickup at Derriman which is only the next suburb over like, I think from where I was to where I was going it's like three and a half kilometers pickup wasn't until four o'clock though so I've unloaded in the morning and it was 8.30 in the morning and I was like, look, if I'm not doing my pick up until four, I probably won't drive out till about seven o'clock at night. So I'm going to sleep. Have a rest so that come four o'clock, I'm not, not gonna be getting tired in the next couple of hours. So I've gone to sleep and I get woken up by my phone ringing. I was like, oh, do I even answer this? You know, like, who is it? I look, it's the office. So I was like, oh, well, I better answer it. See what they need. And, yeah, the, again, long story short of it, they said that the all load's not going to be ready until 8 p.m. So that's when you can even start getting loaded. Now, I got held up on Tuesday at that same place, and I didn't drive out of Melbourne in 10, till 10.30 at night, which just holds you back. You know, instead of being in Newcastle and unloading at seven o'clock, you're not getting back to Newcastle till near lunchtime. And it just pushes everything back. So they've said, no, no good, can the load, We'll pick that up next week. You know, surely it'll be ready. It'll be ready next Tuesday or you know next Monday when he comes down. So they rung around, see if we could find me something else. Can't get anything else on such short notice. So they've said, look, we'll give you the good news. Just drive home empty. Oh, my eyes lit up at that moment. You know, I was still somewhat partially asleep, but my eyes lit up. And I went, you bloody beauty. I'm heading home. 
I've got no load on, so I'm going to be even quicker. You know, it'll pop, I won't have to won't have to slow down going up. It'll, it'll be good, beautiful. Let's send it. The old good old saying, just send it, boys. So anyway, we're um, we're heading out of Melbourne. I got to Craigieburn. Now, for anyone that's again not familiar, I'm out of the city. I'm onto the Hume Highway. I'm. Oh, if you want to call it out of the suburbs, probably 30 or 40 kilometres. My phone rings again. I really, really contemplated not answering it. However, it's not the type of person I am because I see it's the office. Now, I knew what it was. I knew what was coming. I knew what was going to be said. Can you turn back? We've got a load for you. Now, not on the phone, but after I hung up, <laughs> many swear words were said. <laughs> I wasn't really pressed, but at the same time, it's not, you know, it's not beneficial to any business to have anyone running around empty. So, I understood it. I wasn't too far out of the town. However, my book was screwed at that point. Um, because when I unloaded at eight o'clock, I'd started my book. So I could, I could only drive until one o'clock that next morning. And at that point, half past two, and I had to go to Clayton South. So you gotta go back into the city, all the way across through the city, through Melbourne, and then down to Clayton South. So I was like, okay, well, I'm not going to get out of there real quick. I got down there, and it only took me about an hour and a half. Getting out was the bad part, because I was leaving Clayton South at 20 past five. So it took me two hours just, again, to get back through the city. So I wasn't leaving Melbourne until seven o'clock. Keeping in mind, I can only drive till like one in the morning. So I was like, well, that just screws up everything, doesn't it? And, well, like I said, long story short, which has become quite a long-winded story, I didn't end up coming home empty. Um, we've just dropped out here. We bought bought parts of a crane, um, a 12-metre section of a big boom arm of a crane and three con concrete uh, panels um, out here to Badgeries Creek. So that's just like a big yard that they store all the crane stuff at out here so um, heading back to Newcastle we'll ro load up this afternoon and then we're going home because it's Friday so in the grand scheme of things it's not too big of a drama too big of a if you want to call it a big fuck up um, So yeah, that's uh, a little story of where we've been today. Like I said, not too much footage, not too exciting of a, a thing to look at, but I keep saying it. I need to get, I need to keep at least um, somewhat honest with the videos. I need to keep somewhat. Oh, I can't even think of the word. Consistent. Get left around this guy here. to try and keep some sort of consistency um, because I haven't been but yeah I did have the reasons I picked up a load of hay last week my gosh wasn't that a drama um, went out there all the bull dust the roads the truck ended up getting absolutely friggin filthy um, and then I mean, this could be a whole nother story for a whole nother video. I, yeah, sure. I couldn't video the whole thing because it was it was night time and there's no street lights. But I took the wrong turn going out to Gloucester and I ended up going, taking a full load of hay, 42 tonne, over Barrington Tops through the National Park. Anyone that's been there, because I hadn't been before, I'd gone over the other way. Um, 
just through Gundy and going the back way, but I hadn't been actually over Barrington Tops before. Well, that was a whole different scenario. I thought my life was going to end that night because it's bad enough probably going through there of a night time with all the roadworks, but not having been there before and knowing what to expect and going through in a fully loaded semi-trailer, I thought I was going off the edge. And, and there's no... Like, the, you, once you're in there, you can't turn around. There's no going back. So, yeah, oh, I, I even tried to ring my missus to tell her I love her and take care of the kids, but I didn't even have phone service. <laughs> Yeah, it was it was a whole scary scenario that one. I was shitting my pants for the ball. Oh, I think probably near two hours it took me to drive from one side to the other. So, side note, don't do that again. Um, we're making a habit of taking these wrong turns and getting lost. I don't like it. Let's not let's not plan on doing that ever again. But um, look, as always. Um, Anything you want me to touch base on, I need to do a video on logbooks and all that because I've had a heap of people ask me. I'm not going to say, do as I do, say as I say, um, but if I could just do a general sort of video, it'll probably be a serious one, so some people may not be interested in it, but um, some people have got no idea. I'm not saying that in a rude way, but they just don't have an idea as in they don't drive so they don't know. Oh yeah, we'll go, we'll go left here. Um, and then other people that are just generally interested in truck driving and what truck drivers do and all that sort of stuff, um, but don't do it themselves, you know, it'll be like a little insight, I guess, to how some things happen. Uh, but yeah, anything else you want me to touch base on? Go and give me a follow on TikTok if you want, I don't care. But, word of the week. We like that. Um, I think the last one of the other videos I did, someone else mentioned, said, oh, what, no word of the week this week? So, look, we need, that's gonna be a thing. We're always gonna do a word of the week, a word of the video. Um, turn around. Because I had to turn around from where I was, when I was heading home, I had to turn around, go back into the city. So give me your best turnaround story in the comments. I love reading them, you know I say it all the time. But I'm sure some of the people in the comments love reading them as well. And people, that is how you merge into traffic. Just follow the, match the flow of traffic. You don't need to try and speed up and get in front of him. You don't need to slow down like some dickhead asshole. Just merge in and flow in with the flow of traffic. Thank you, if anyone learns from that. You'll be, you'll be my new best friend. But um, yeah, your best turnaround stories. What have you done? You had to turn around, you forgot to leave food out for the cat, you left the front door open, you got turned around, same thing, you might have had to turn around and go and get a different load from somewhere else. I'm sure there's gonna be good stories, um, all little tales that you have. So turn around, where have you got turned around at? That's it for today. Thank you for tuning in for another episode. And if you've watched this far and you haven't already, just subscribe. You know, those, those numbers, if they're going up, that keeps everyone happy. Thank you. Bye now.